all right so here we are these are my honest thoughts on juno juno is the newest support hero to the overwatch cast she is a ton of fun and for the first time ever i can't believe i'm gonna say this it's actually kind of a surprise but this is possibly the best hero they've ever added since Ana. and i kind of want to talk about that i think a lot of other content creators and players agree she is by far the most um fair and very honest hero design and if this is the future of overwatch then we actually have a chance of making a comeback with a lot more honest designs for the future heroes and hopefully some reworks to the current dishonest designs that we've seen so let me talk about juno real quick at first glance when you look at a kit it does look a little bit like oh there's a lot going on but the character is actually pretty pretty straightforward she's really not that over the top the best thing to know about her is she's a single target healer and she actually needs to aim she's a hit scan um now whether she's a hit scan or a really tightly like you know um knit together projectile hero is up for debate i do think she is hit scan with a little bit of spread i'm not entirely sure on that but yeah everything else about her kit she's relatively simple and straightforward and her shift is glide boost it allows her to glide around she cannot go upwards she stays within the air she's in her passive allows her to basically double jump and hover and then her right click this was the one that definitely made a lot of people anxious it's pulsar torpedoes it's homing projectiles that you can shoot it heals allies over time and it damages enemies and the numbers on both the healing and damage on these torpedoes are pretty damn reasonable which is very weird to see from blizzard not going to lie because the, I'm, I'm 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 also in shock as i'm recording this right now i wasn't expecting her to be this good i wasn't expecting her to be this honest i genuinely thought oh like at some point we'll see like some you know her ultimate will make you invulnerable or something like that or you know things that people don't like denial abilities as we call them and there was none of that there was none of that it was actually very surprising so what is juno where does she fit in what does she do now before i talk about juno guys remember tomorrow we got the best juno guide coming up i know i know juno's gonna go away but the guide should help you get a kickstart at understanding the hero and then when she comes back out again you know you can do your best to be the best juno um by that point and have a good head start uh, compared to all the other players anyways so juno looking at her kit she actually fits into brawl slash rush rush comps the best and then i would argue it's a debate whether she fits into poke or even dive comps actually with dive comps she's a little bit here and there i'm not going to lie she's a little bit um slow which is weird when you think about her kit and what she's trying to enable there's certainly maps where you can make it work but with the way her hyper ring works it's very very much like she cannot place it like it goes a certain distance before it pops up so that already limits her design and even her ultimate which i thought was going to be like doomfist where you can you know pick where the orbital ray is going to drop the orbital ray starts exactly where she is so even that kind of holds her back which is something that i wasn't a fan of and the more i played with her the more i played against her the more i played with her on my team as a tank and as a dps the more i realized that this character actually is just built for rush comps or brawl comps she fits really well into them outside of that she's a little bit more situational and map dependent now i will say one thing she's very very good on flashpoint and and um what is that other map the the new one what the game mode sorry um flashpoint and push she's also very good on push i think on those two maps she's a very good very safe pick because those um game modes and maps are very much like on the floor and at least from my experience so far juno's the type of support character that really wants the map to be grounded she doesn't really like a lot of high grounds she can definitely still play around them and make them work but she really likes the brawl type of maps like the like on the ground not too much high grounds not too much needing to move around you know she kind of likes that a lot i like her play style. So it's it's honestly it feels like i'm playing anna but if anna was a little bit more mobile i'm not gonna lie and in order to maximize value on the character the like the power where you need to maximize the the kit the most is the pulsar torpedoes at least so far from what i've um, gathered the hyper ring it doesn't come up as much on defense like you pretty much use it to just disengage and every now and then you can use it to engage of the enemies like you know you caught a pick or two and you can just boost it down i at least so far i found that the best way to use it is to save yourself because your movement the glide boost and and the passive that she gets to hover around is actually not that good um this is probably the one area in the kit that i was a little bit worried about and while i was worried about it being overtuned i didn't think that it would be this um 
quote unquote balanced i don't want to say under tuned perhaps it's just weird because anytime i press shift i feel like i should be going upwards and she just stays like horizontal it feels awkward um my buddy my tank player he pointed out he said that we were actually testing juno when we were playing echo in the uh in that one game mode that came out a while back where echo could fly horizontally and she had these like homing rockets and things like that so he was actually right we were kind of testing some parts of juno's kit and yeah so orbital ray her ultimate i feel like we need to talk about this one quite a bit this ultimate primarily when i was first playing her i was only using it offensively but i realized using this ultimate as a budget transcendence and mercy like damage boosting beam for everybody so like like it's a more more aggressive version of valkyrie if valkyrie could do two things at once this is what this would look like orbital ray is what that looks like and it made me a little bit concerned because the way i also see this character is in a weird way i was like you know if they could like update mercy's entire kit and turn her into like a overwatch 2 character this is what juno is she's kind of like an updated mercy although i was like usually i was uh, crediting kiriko to be that but i actually think this character embodies more of that movement based team supporting based play style um while also being able to do your thing and honestly her damage is really weird the, 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 like she requires the same time to kill that anna does um four bursts of her you know bullets or pellets or whatever she shoots out um in order to get a kill it's really slow like she doesn't do that much damage and you're meant to pay it with pulsar torpedoes but honestly i've found that at least so far you should be 80 to 70 percent of the time healing and 30 percent 20 percent damaging um you can even go again without having to do damage it's not necessary the character is really good at healing um and her damage is like okay it's meant to help secure kills not meant to actually get picks that's kind of where torpedoes come in to help finish off targets but even torpedoes are really slow and they're really easy to dodge like they're really not that hard to dodge if, if you're struggling to dodge them for the love of god please improve as a player they're, it's really slow and really easy to to track there's a lot of other things in the game that come way faster than that that i would argue are much worse so what do i rate juno in my honest opinion i give this hero from a full kit and design perspective 10 out of 10 they were able to get her point across in a way that was healthy for the game and for me personally because so many of the supports lately have been about denial 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 and slowing the game down it's such a breath of fresh air that juno is a character that's actually about going in going in going in and making plays her ultimate is a playmaking ultimate that can also be used as a budget transcendence if you need to her pulsar torpedoes can also be used in an aggressive manner in case you want to help push with your team and you know apply some poke damage or you know maybe confirm a kill or two her glide boost and her passive are very very versatile and they're very good utility in the way she can move around although i'm not going to lie they're not the best movement in the game and she is really vulnerable to getting dived like me personally i felt like no matter whether i even used a full combo of hyper ring plus glide boost plus the martian boots passive to float and like try to dodge enemy dives it felt really difficult to to survive against dives with her you know i'm still learning the character but you know she's really not that difficult to understand or learn how to play but her movement feels very clunky um maybe just a little bit of either smoothening out her movement or making her a little bit faster because she's really vulnerable personally i would like to see um her double jump take her a little bit higher and i think that's fine i think she can just like jump a little bit more up it would help her a lot with the way she can move and climb onto railings and things like that outside of that she actually has a pretty decently sized hitbox when i played hit scan and projectile dps and tanks it really wasn't that hard to shoot or track her it was very easy to isolate her and bully her i never ever felt the way that i felt with like a life we were like double petal platforming running away kiriko teleporting across the map etc etc like it actually feels like you can punish this character just because their movement is a little bit more on the clunky side like you have to be very careful with positioning on her hyper ring i don't think she's going to replace lucio i think she has good synergy with lucio and this is a call for concern because the balance team was hoping that perhaps juno could replace Lucio's. So excuse me juno could replace lucio's place in the game but unfortunately my only fear now outside of juno is maybe the balance team might actually nerf lucio because he's very strong at highest levels of play and they have been nerfing him here and there but it doesn't address the strongest point of lucio which is his speed boost 
So unless Juno gets overkitted, uh, sorry, not overkitted, um, overbuffed in order to compete with Lucio, I don't see her replacing Lucio. Her hyper ring is, I would even argue sometimes a little bit situational. I would argue that sometimes you don't want to use it to go in, you want it to get out, you know? So it's a little bit weird. And it's also really dependent on the map structure. Lucio doesn't have that problem, right? Because it moves with Lucio. Hyper ring comes up at a certain place in time and you have to be really careful with it. So she's a really fun character, 10 out of 10 design, 10 out of 10, um, you know, sound effects. I love her sound effects. I love her voice actors. She did a fantastic job with a character who's a little bit more anxious and, you know, new to these concepts. Very, very great way to get the character across. Um, love the visuals of the character. Love everything about the hero. Um, I don't think she's going to be meta unless they like over buffer. I don't think they need to do that. I think they need to bring down every support to her level because I think she is the perfect support. For overwatch and more and more support should either be tuned to her level and the way that you know she's playing and doing her thing and for the future design we need more supports like her where there's a weakness in her kit and she has her strengths but she's not over the top i think this for just tanks dps and supports is the way to go so you know i always call it like it is if the bass team and overwatch team does something bad i call it like it is juno however is fortunately not a part of that problem she is a 10 out of 10 hero i adore her i'm actually having so much fun playing support um cycling between her and some other supports anna iliari bap a little bit of mercy mora here and there lucio um but juno's really fun i really like her she she's the best of overwatch in one character and that's what i love about her so let me know what you think about juno down below and with that being said if you want to support the channel for free all you have to do is hit like and subscribe that's a free way to support the channel. If you want to check out my Patreon to support me financially, then, well, that's exactly that. It's a way to support the channel financially, and I really appreciate it. With that being said, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video, which is going to be the best Juno guide, and where I introduce Juno to beginners and help them try to maximize the potential of Juno's kit. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.